our motto is fair play, integrity, and transparency. Our electoral system is second to none in terms of its transparency, credibility, fairness, and transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. One Gambia, one nation, one people. December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by reputable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we got you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu. Our motto is fair play, integrity, and transparency. Our electoral system is second to none in terms of its transparency, credibility, fairness, and transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you if you are just watching. This is Kerfatu and my name is Buba Gajigo. Um, uh, we are live at the Independent, of course, um, Electoral Commission, that is the IEC. It is a nomination day for, of course, our independent candidates today. As you can see, um, some of them were here and then uh, they've been nominated. Delights of, of course, um, uh, Maris Sok. Um, she was here, of course, the first um, yes. female uh, presidential aspirant in this country. and. Um, we also have uh, Joseph Juve, because he was he was also she, uh, he was also here, um, uh, and we'll be having Mama Dikura, and Mama Dikura also is a uh, independent aspirant in this country, and then we'll be having him very soon. Uh, and he's I learned that he's coming with um, so many so many followers um, uh, here, and uh, I am with of course um, my able boss that is uh, Lamin Cham, uh, is the uh, of course, host of the brunch program on Kerfato. Um, uh, Mr. Cham, um, you're welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Buba. I'd like to first sort out uh, the microphones. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Buba. Yes, um, well, it so happens that uh, both the brunch and other Kerfato activities has to be relocated to the election house. That is the home of the Independent Electoral Commission, where, as you have already highlighted and uh, viewers have already witnessed, the beginning of nominations for the 2021 elections has uh, just got underway with two independent candidates already filing in their nominations um, to the Independent Electoral Commission, uh, IEC. And uh, we are about to see the third one who's been scheduled for today. Um, he is Alhaji Mamadi Kurang. Well, of course, you know a bit about Alhaji Mamadi Kurang. Uh, he was better known, actually, as the proprietor of uh, Skill Center Tutors, Jolof Tutors, that is, Jolof Tutors, uh, which had, uh, um, um, for a number of years, um, uh, I mean, been educating 
um, young people a number of skills uh, across this country. Now, he has thrown his heart into politics. He has um, declared that he is going to run for president because, according to him, I can remember his first interview was that this country needs to be fixed. Well, those were his words. How he is going to fix that and how long will he take or what it will take for him to have the uh, wherewithals uh, to fix that uh, are all in his uh, manifesto, so to speak, which he had been given verbally, of course. But today, significantly, he will take the first step and that is to uh, file in his papers to fulfill 12 criteria set by the Independent Electoral Commission um, to seek candidature in the presidential race on December the 4th. Well, I managed to have a glimpse of uh, his entourage, but I can tell you he has a long convoy of motorcades uh, with his poster pasted um, on the cars from, I mean, car one to the last in the convoy. I met them all along the um, Battle Hard in Highway, starting from the turntable, table, and they came in single file and, and quite in, I must say this for, for them, they were quite disciplined and orderly in the procession right up to uh, the footsteps of this uh, uh, premises, uh, where of course they met security, who are arranging them where the uh, entourage, you know, I mean the people and the, the fans, the supporters, where they will be based and who is coming with him uh, to track the little distance from the back of New Town, Johnson, right here to the electoral house. So he seemed to be really well organized and of course uh, given his background as an educationist, of course you would naturally believe that he suddenly must have uh, fulfilled all the 12 criteria and he is proudly coming any moment from now to come uh, to present his papers to the Electoral Commission. But then, significantly, Buba, this is a record number of candidates uh, in any Gambian election that I have remembered, or in fact, I have read, because uh, since 1962 or 1960, no election has ever attracted this amount of people wanting the highest office since the likes of uh, uh, well the early days of the politics the the likes of um, I am Gaba Jahumpa Francis Small Dauda Kairaba Jawara of the PPP PSJ uh, Emi Jalo a trade unionist since all of them you know began politics in this country at no time do you have 26 is it? Um, you know, in the ballots. And it looks like that's what we are going to see in 2021. Of course, a lot of time has passed and the country has evolved both in terms of uh, politics and population. So it is, uh, I mean, fairly expected that, yes, a number of people, the number of people who wants to contest will increase. But then, all of a sudden, from three, was it three? Yeah, in, in 2016. To 26. Well, so many analysis have been done. A lot of people said, well, it is the return of democracy. The democratic space was controlled under Jame, so much so that very few Gambians actually wanted to do anything with politics. Uh, but when it was open from 2017 onwards, um, a lot of Gambians who have previously shied politics have now signed up and said they want to take part in the nation's politics. And that's what we have seen here. And also, it has been argued that the threshold, the threshold, um, you know, the threshold for things like, you know, nominees, I mean, I mean signatories, $10,000, uh, $10,000 deposits payments, 5,000 signatures across the region, at least each region, 250 or 200. Many people believe, Buba, this is far too small and easy, um, you know, for a candidate. That's why you have a lot of people jumping, you know, in the arena. Some of them are pretenders. 
some of some, yes. of some of them you might say are looking for fame well of course they all argue that they are really serious with what they are doing but then you you tend to believe that uh, well, I mean what inspired you know all of these people people yes to come <laughs> so it's been argued that perhaps the 500,000 deposit dollars a deposit that was the requirement back in 2016 should have stayed or at least even it's going to be removed Remove. it should have been at least reduced to maybe halfway a quarter of a million or so because in that case <laughs> only serious people would like to commit that kind of money money yeah uh, exactly. you know in an exercise like this when you are certainly so that you don't stand the, the chance of um, you know winning it's difficult because it's, <laughs> quite, it's, quite it's, well. it's going to be difficult to convince any one of these 26 that they're gonna make it then they you know they're not gonna make it but then you can see if, from your own analysis that I mean some of them you, you don't know their objectives but then of course we have to give them respect they are Gambians and they, they have, can do they, what they, they have like the they have right, the right yeah. so who are we to condemn or, or even to say Mr. X didn't go and then, so a record uh, I mean number of candidates I mean huge logistics for the independent electoral commission I mean they said they're gonna spend two million dollars on each candidate they have to provide 1,600 something ballot boxes for oh, each of these candidates, candidates yeah. they have up to November the 20, ar 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 November the 26 or so uh, to withdraw if they want but then of course that will be too late for the IEC the IEC from now or maybe they have even started making ballot drums so it will be meaningless if a candidate waits up to November 26 for them they've already spent money on it so you see huge logistics um, the whole com country is galvanized the political fever is blowing everywhere uh, of course, we hope um, that this entire process will be uh, seen through toward December 4th and after in December. peace. All right. Um, that was my boss. Great analysis there. So uh, actually, we're going to take you through some of the requirements for this uh, nomination before we sift to the local languages here. Um, uh, number one, uh, they're saying the person must be a citizen of this country, that is the uh, Gambia, and then... One Gambia, one nation, one people. Our motto is they are played. Was so you also must be resident in this country, the Gambia, for five years, and then uh, the fifth one is you should be nominated by five thousand voters. Um, at least 200 from each region. That is interesting. I don't know how um, some of these people will get this the charm, but um, uh, we will discuss this more here. And six is um, you have to, of course, um, that is the asset declaration. You have to declare your assets that you have in this uh, country. And number seven is you have to get tax clearance, which is very, very important. That's another one. And number eight is uh, you have to deposit at least $10,000 to be uh, nom nominated. Uh, number nine is uh, your symbol, your color, and your, of course, um, your photograph. Number ten is, uh, uh, of course, the person, um, the, of course, he said a person um, qualified to register as a voter, maybe an independent candidate. Yeah, that's another one. And eleven is you have to adhere to IC Code of Campaign Ethics. And number twelve is Manifesto on Tolerance and Multi. Um, uh, culturalism that is it um, that is it for you those are the 12 points that um uh, charm has mentioned some of them and he of course um give a great analysis to um some of these things but then uh, we are about to witness the arrival of uh, mr mamarikura um charm i've already told you that um uh, he is the founder of uh, uh Joel of tutors and he's of course an independent aspirant in this uh, in this country, that is the Gambia. So, um, be, uh, of course, Murlam, um, the local language, wale maniga kango anin kandolu, kadiam fana, ka mol kalamuta ni bedam ng wale ICT, which wale maradin karte fayo ko la Gambia banko kanjang. Eh, Aliyalo ni uh, karte fayo eh, kanasi le Gambia jang andu nomination ole bes eh, caring. Eh, Bidung nomination ole dolu kete le mialongo itambita le fayo pare da mufula nyonga le mialongo. Uh, he nominated Adaba Kono, uh, Marisok, and an independent candidate, uh, candidate Kotong Mia nominated. But in Mofula to the Jele, Uncle Afutanane, Walem Albemin Jekang Allah screen or to sign sign tenting Walem, of course, some Alaji Mama de Kuram, Atedum, Molbe Mia Lonko Lefretajang, and in Kafo Natale, uh, Mia Lonko, and Ifretajan Nebi, 
mialongo iba nominedla. So nga criteria alfale ne mialongo inyanta wale soto la inyanta mune soto la puka aje ko bi se nominedla. Puri si dasi bula no nyame. Kate fayo mialongo wale inyanta kela December karo atilina no Gambia Banko kanya. Nga otungu alfale jale. Ninchambe du na otole fanang. Fuko sambe ni kaka ngoto aningkandola. Follow, follow, follow. Aye si be mimi faka wale mjindi ko inyanta kela Gambia dingolti flanjango. Ali si nyanta sangi tanga sababu soto lale jani ibe nominated la sababu njango minti wale minti ko ila karango bunda doya tanya onya inyanta certificate soto dami alonko inyanta ata la senior school wale senior secondary school ti inyanta certificate soto dami kera was certificate wale mila sababu njango ndo ila nani njango minti wale minti ko at least sangi lulu njango ali nyanta wake la dambi abjani amani ko ibeta rata amadula le four Mingkarre fosi tena dong, bari nyanta sangi lulu, nyanta wosor la Gambia Banko kan, nyanta wosor la Gambia Banko kan jan. Lulu nyango, ila tungku lulu nyango, mialong kwe walundi, wale mnyindi ko, akamtale ko alaji mama de kura fudatale. It seems like um, Mr. Cham alaji mama de kura is already here. It seems, are you are are you surprised by the crowd that accompany them? Yeah, he really arrived here with an impressive crowd, really. I, I am amazed as to um, how attractive it looks like he has become. Uh, to find. I mean, he was one who was not very much making uh, too much of noise since his um, um, declaration of intention to run for president. But he, he apparently has been working on the ground, as you can see. Uh, the amount of mobilization he was able to make uh, to get his, uh, um, you know, f supporters right here. They came like a Cholo in a long convoy of vehicles, um, which I followed all the way down to here at the election house. Um, he's a pragmatic person, charismatic in such a way that um, he's vocal mm -hmm. and uh, he always speaks his mind. Um, and he does, he, <laughs> let's say, a little bit rebellious, even <laughs> if you want to say, because I remember when uh, at Jolof Tutors he had this row with the education regulatory authorities. Um, you know, he presented his case um, so vocally, and he was very articulate um, in uh, defending his case. And then, of course, you know, he resigned uh, from the um, Jane Commission of Inquiries, um, uh, yeah, rather controversially, when he objected to things he said. Um, uh, according to him, we are going not going according to his uh, convictions, and then he had to leave. And the commission, well, the ministry who were responsible for the commission said, uh, you know, his behaviour was uh, <laughs> not compatible or something. So he was one who will speak forthright, uh, speak of his mind, and very articulate. Of course, well educated. Uh, I mean, he sounds as if he knows the issues. Uh, he said he's going to fix. You know, I mean. So he certainly must have ideas, um, but then he will have to work very hard uh, in the coming weeks um, um, to work for the numbers. So it's not clear whether, uh, he, maybe he will say, he will opt um, to join or ask for any alliance or coalitions that might be formed. So many people are running and joining so many coalitions now. Probably the crowd that he pulled. Uh, maybe other people will, or, or, or political parties, the big ones will come forward and say, please, we need you. <laughs> <laughs> likely, you so, yeah. very likely. Like you said, the, the, the 27, 2021 elections uh, and process all have been crowd competition. Crowd, 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 crowd competition. Uh, we see that each person in that way, political group or individual candidates, whenever they, I mean, start talking to the people, the first thing they will try to do is to you know, mobilize a lot of people, meet at the buffer zone or somewhere and show their strength. Uh, to see, well, I am well supported. We've seen all of them doing that. So crowd competition is there. But then, of course, as usual, nominations are one of those days when, you know, I mean, candidates will come and flex their muscle and show their strength, you know. Uh, yes. So if that means, of course, uh, the, big, yeah. the bigger groups... Um, he will be speaking very shortly, so we'll, of course, um, come to him. Well, you are here for the nomination and would like to receive your documents.
So, are we going to this list? Or? No, let's, let's because have your voter's card first. Original copy? Yeah, yeah, voter's card. The copy or the original, sir? Anything you have. I have. No. And what, is, what else do we have? What else do we have? Well, I have my other personal documents with me. I'm not sure what else. Code on Company Ethics. Say again. The Code on Company Ethics. The Code of Company Ethics. That we have to sign. Yeah. Comply with the code. It was part of your nomination document. Yeah. You say shall abide. Yes. Yeah. What? Number eleven. Then. What did he say? I gave it to you. Okay. Mm. 
black and white. Yes. Your symbol is this. Yes. Your photo is this. Yes. And your official name is? Al Haji Mamadi Quran. Well, if you don't remember receiving the code of corporate ethics, yeah. ask for a copy before you go. Okay. Yeah, I can sign it now. Yeah. I can sign it now. Is the receipt for your deposit? Thank you. Yes, sir. My place is a honey for this. You see? Okay. And bring the remaining ones as soon as possible. And on Saturday, we'll do this because the public will have the right to come and inspect what we have submitted on Saturday from 8 to 12. Alright? So please get the other documents as soon as for the code of copy ethics. Sorry, code of copy ethics. Huh? If you don't have a copy, ask, they'll give you one. Don't see it, send somebody to my office later. I can give you a copy. Okay. okay. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
So the, my understanding is the nomination finishes on Saturday. Friday. After the Friday. Friday. Saturday yeah, is what public scrutiny. The, the public scrutiny is Saturday. Uh, yes. And what happens after that? Then you come with the list of all the qualified candidates. Okay. Then you have just submitted. Your document will, your documentation will be reviewed for okay. consideration. Okay. So on, after the public scrutiny, the IC will come up with a uh, declaration of a candidate who has submitted and are qualified. When? When is that? That will be on Saturday. On the IC list will be out on yes. Saturday. Yes. Yeah. So do not forget. That's fair. That's fair enough. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We understand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, that is the independent candidate, uh, Mamadi Kura, there. Of course, uh, it came with a huge, huge crowd here. I think he's now leaving. Uh, he'll be speaking to journalists shortly, I believe so. So we'll connect to them if he's going to speak to some journalists here. Among the people that came, I think he's the... Um, a person who came with uh, so many people. I don't know. So let's see what uh, yeah, what is I he mean, going to say. Yeah, we came out fine. Yeah. Um, there is still it's still one step of the process. The second process is a public viewing, and uh, we're looking forward to that. And after that, hopefully the IC will come up with the list. How full are you that you will be accepted? Well, we have no issues. The the criteria is clear. We are Gambian citizen, we are resident, we are qualified professionally, and uh, we have submitted more than uh, 6,000 signatures, when 5,000 is what is required. And uh, we have uh, basically fulfilled all the, the, the requirements that, that will be uh, needed. Sakura, yes, sir. why do you feel that Gambians should vote for you? Like, what do you have for the Gambians? Uh, well, I think uh, I'm the, I'm the uh, right candidate at the moment. The world is going through changes. The Gambia needs to find a candidate that can sail through the difficulties that the global um, society is facing. Somebody who understands the economic issues, the political issues, the global issues. I have been tested and proven. For 20 years, I have operated an institution professionally, employed people, and trained more than 20,000 Gambians who are employed in every industry in this country. I understand the economic problems of the country. The major problem of the country is poverty, and this country needs somebody who can solve poverty, a problem solver. I'm a problem solver. I've not been um, corrupted with any government. I've not been involved. I'm a neutral person. People can trust me that I'm going to deliver what the society needs. You Assuming that corruption, um, transitional justice is one thing, poverty, you spoke about that, health. So in your first one, it is in office. What would be your top priorities? Well, to tackle poverty, like I said, there are a number of issues affecting this country. We have put education on top of our agenda. The Gambia is facing major ed educational problems of the country. As you know, it's a country that started with an educational system that is basically apartheid. In 1965 or before that, if your father is not a chief, you could not go to high school or primary school. That system has been entrenched in this society. In, in this present moment, if you, if you don't have money, you cannot get education in the Gambia College. Even if you have money and go to the Gambia College, after three years you come up with a diploma. When we come to power, we are going to remove all diplomas. I'm talking like somebody, we're going to replace them with degrees. We are going to make education is what can move this country. Singapore got independence in 1965, no oil, no gold, no diamond. They have the human resources. For 20 years, I've been involved in human resource training. The Gambia needs to capitalize on its human resources to change this country. The only thing that can change this country is to make education abundant and abundant and to make it cheap for everybody. Oh, yes. As you can see, my delegation, Kantora, Tumana, Fuladu, Nyomi, 
all over the Gambia, they are here. Representatives from everybody is here. The young people are yearning for change. They are going to decide this election in 2021. People want somebody who is consistent for 20 years. What I've said 20 years ago is what I've said 10 years ago. Is what I still say. Nobody can bring out anything that is inconsistency in what I've been saying in the politics and the economics of this country. I am trusted by the young people for 20 years, and I think I will deliver. Coalition, well, we are already nominated to contest, and we are going forward to December 4th. I don't think there is too much time to talk about joining anything else. Assuming that you win this election in December, how will you eradicate poverty in this country? How we would eradicate poverty? We want to create a middle class where carpenters, plumbers, nurses, and teachers could build their own houses and have their own cars and send their children to school and give them quality education. No country is able to develop without a middle class. If you're a policeman and you cannot afford a house, and you're a teacher, you can't afford a house. You're a journalist, you can't afford a house. Your country doesn't have a middle class. We're going to meet a build a middle class by building the country, by creating 500,000 jobs for 500,000 youth, giving them quality education. I'll give you an example. If you're a messenger, you can build a one-story house or a two-story house if you're a carpenter. What about if I give you a 10-story house? How many Gambians can build a 20-story house? They need education to be able to do that. Education, education, democratization of education is the solution to the problem of this country. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, that is, of course, um, Alaji Mamari Kuran. He is an independent aspirant. He, of course, emphasized on education that um, Gambians um, should definitely um, invest more on education and i believe um, uh, if he is uh, uh, elected um, uh, he will be doing a lot a lot and a lot more about uh, uh, education that was the of course um, independent aspirant mamadi kura as we mentioned earlier he is uh, he is the of course um uh, founder of joel of teachers in the gambia and he's he's bragged of uh, of course um training more than um, uh, uh, 2,000 Gambians that are doing so many things in this country uh, right now. So he will be vying for the presidency come December. Alaji Mama de Kuranti, of course, uh, Bill Mala nomination old in Aliagele, of course, um, yeah, nominately, uh, uh, Natalia uh, Alakaito, Walla, Alakaito, Dile, Mialan, Kuan, Yanta, Wale, Dile, I see Chiaman, La Minkera, Aluma, and Jati. Ayabe futan damale anong aliamo ele minfo kabria kabria ala kaitol difa pareta adaba kono kuli mi alon kwa wale fo wale mkarango bundati ko nyanta bamba na nyameng akai mo jamal le bje mi alon ko ay train ni nata of course am karango la fanna la jang akai ay mo jamal le ay mo jamal le train so nyimu kuli mi alon ko ayafo bari afole ko na nata karango la kodi akai ba bamba ndi la bakele. Uh, of course, I'm Lamin Cham Musanane, Nyato Domandimba Dundilale, but I follow Ko Karamola Ko Akaba Bamandila Bakele, Natra Nata. Example of Singapore, who called Walu Independence Sort of 1965, but Nia Gibe Science Intenting, Yedabe Banko, Konomial and Ko Banko Nyontangolem, Amanke Fango Fenti, Yeminke Wolem Yintiko, Karamola Taya, Semben Tuendi or Banko to Prukajako, left a mene is a is a sort of no yaming. What what if I like to deal? Silang nyo boringo be kela watu mina wolem dizema karo atilinano bari ya nyininka le kiba talale ya nyininka le fo ani modo si kafuno le banko pati dole ya kenyame ako saintendi manke ya watu do puruka ajeko eka wofu ama uo sene ya nifu ani modo le kafula fate kafula bari minse nata wole mnyintiko ani kafu na ata jani miyalonko isiata le akamtele ko mul folo le miyalonko le nata bi atela kafu siata itualti bari Ata fana yala kaito ldi le anung science science tenting amu multi mi alonko ata fana mbe kela akamtela ko independent aspirant tenti wala be kafula dola le of course ni ngkarte fola mi alonko wale kana mboka idi le nwa ne rexti now I C le ni ka independent electoral commission nyom nyom yore walu election bi fi the munde nyom ne nyom nyom ne ka referee fi si sufi gami si nyom si election nyom nyom ne ka of course am referee fi ni Alaji Mama di Kurana, mom lendon of course am nominate. Jisgen ne montamet johena kaitam yo hamne yo yula ame. 
si IC chairman bi kidi Ali Umar Njai mune sa luñ ko lacc ci nit mom lum provide opana lolu sa kidi of course am Alaji Mamad Kura lolu la wax way wax na ne mom su nek njiti rewm fi mom dana nek nit ko xamne na dimale janga bu ba ba joxe na example Singapore li nak mu ko don garal depuis buñ ko of course am depuis bu joxe pepa mi be pare si IC la don wax li mune na munti janga mi na nek lo xamne nako degaral of course i'm fini sufi gambia of course i'm mr cham um you 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 you, you had it from the main man uh uh alaji mama the quran yes you can use this mic sir. yes um thank you very much buba well as you have uh, quite rightly outlined uh, in mandinka there and um, well of yes uh we have had the third nomination filed here on the IEC. Well, I think I will have to hello, hello. do away the mic a little bit <laughs> um, and perhaps uh, bring back the spectacle. So yes. That can, uh, <laughs> so that you can yes, analyze well. Exactly. I well, saw you sitting right, you yes, know, I had behind to go, him. <laughs> I had to go and get the feel of um, what is how things yes, yes. are done under that tent there. Uh, where you have the IEC chairman Ali Umar Njai and his staff uh, line up um, to receive uh, candidates who have come to file in their nomination papers. And uh, I, I must say I'm impressed with the um, setup there because, uh, as you know, because of COVID-19 restriction protocols, they have to do it. They have to do it in the open space um, so that uh, people can have uh, can be able to inspect or adhere to the COVID uh, protocols i.e. spacing and not um, you know being able to transmit each order with the virus um, however I think uh, what is so special about Alhaji Mamari Kurang like I tell you mm -hmm. is his passion for education um, he said it himself that uh, even when you have the money to go to school in this country um, the, you come out with a diploma or so. I mean, his ambition is going to establish all these diplomas and set up a system where once you have attained a certain level of education, you are indeed quite well educated. And he said this because he said he had a lot of experience working with the youth of the country in the educational sector. Um, if you look around at his um, pamphlets, which he came this morning to the IEC, he simply said he is the most qualified. Yes. He Interest, he he interestingly, he, most qualified. he said, <laughs> I did not work for Baro or Jamme governments, and I still live and work in the Gambia, so I can be trusted to deliver justice and meritocracy. The greens and the yellows can trust me to provide good judgment without bias. My philosophy is country before party and country before tribe. I think uh, in this... Uh, simple preamble he has been able to capture the feelings of the people <laughs> of this country at the moment um, the issues have been how can we really reflect and project ourselves as countrymen <laughs> and not uh, you know ethnic uh, uh, groups or you know ethnic blocks <laughs> he said he can rise above that because he had worked with youth particularly he said his mantra this time is change and he said this change can be brought about only by the use um, he came with a lot of confidence and he spoken like I said he didn't disappoint very articulately um, he believed that working with the youth he can be able to change he said the people who are scouted him here are drawn from all corners of the country, country yeah. uh, meaning of course he's saying that uh, his support base you know is spread across the country, country yeah. Uh, and he said, now that his nomination is over, they're going to focus on what they have right behind, b before them, which is uh, to fight for the hearts and minds of Gambians. So that December the 4th, he believes he can get the maximum votes than any other candidate so he can uh, take the mantra of leadership in this country. He didn't talk about whether or not he will be available for coalition. Yeah. Uh, that is pretty soon, perhaps. But maybe we'll have to follow him. He said it's not the right time. It's not the right, right time. I mean, he said he has educational background, included accounting, auditing, 
uh, I mean, tax management, etc. So all these things he said can help him to be on top of issues uh, when they arise as uh, chief executive or commander in chief. He will be able to read the books himself. He will be able to, uh, you know, audit national expenses. He will be advantaged to know the figures. Uh, I mean, that can, that will go into budgets and then scrutinize these budgets to see whether they have actually been utilized. I mean, to the areas that uh, his governments, should he get elected, would like them to be. So, I want to say, you know, as far as presentation is concerned, uh, he sounds formidable. And he sounds, um, uh, let's say, articulate to the ears of uh, people who want uh, no media, I mean, I mean, people who doesn't want uh, uh, amateurism in our politics. I'm sure Dr. Kura, or Alaji Mamadi Kura, will be one of the candidates they will look out for. Um, very briefly, let me go back a little. You know, the nomination of um, Marisok, actually, Marisok, mm -hmm. uh, actually itself is a very historical moment that yeah. I think most, exactly. <laughs> most observers Mostly may the, have escaped. The, the first female candidate. Yeah, mm -hmm. the first woman mm -hmm. to do so is, is in itself uh, a very, 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 very impressive yes, and impressive. significant so. record. And you know, he, she too is somebody who is very articulate. Um, I mean, uh, very much uh, a proud representative of the, um, you know, of, of, of our women folk. Sure. Um, you know, she's educated and she uh, kind of exudes, uh, you know, a radiance of uh, confidence and independent uh, minded uh, woman, you know, who has traveled and have read well and is very much abreast of uh, issues that are affecting women, you know, in, in, in the world, especially also in the Gambia. In the Gambia so. so her candidature and her very self, uh, the quality she exudes uh, really will not be disappointing for a woman who wants a voice in politics. And they will see her as a proud candidate. And, you know, I also, I mean, um, observe, you know, I know that um, even the IEC confirmed uh, that uh, the register of Gambia voters, I mean, the most of the people who registered as voters are women. So you will wonder whether one day people like Marie Shock, whether it could be her or somebody else, might be able to, you know, um, exercise or take something or perhaps persuade the woman that look you know what if you simply back me mm -hmm. not because of any reason but because of gender i can be president can be so maybe the shortest way to make a woman president is, is for all of you now to forget about your tribes forget about your political parties and vote for me as a woman and directly automatically i'll be elected so i don't know whether mary shock she's smart i will be able to uh, you know, play that way and walk on the mindset of the woman and said, you know what, um, we have to be positive, we have to do some positive discrimination this time, forget about all the main folk, vote for me and you get a woman president. Because <laughs> yes, sir, yeah. the record shows that there are more women voters than men. So that's an interesting that, that's, that's uh, scenario there. But then overall, I think uh, the actual process, the real process is going very smoothly. Although you can argue that uh, I know the, the men and women who've been elected today, might, uh, who've been nominated today, might just be the independent candidate. You will think maybe if the big wigs come tomorrow and next day, the, the atmosphere might be a little bit more charged. <laughs> when you have the GDCs uh, who have got a, a newly married web. Uh, I mean, if you want to, and then you come to the uh, I mean, United Democratic Party. Yeah or you come to the National People's Party, NPP, uh, and others. Maybe you will think the atmosphere would be a little, a little bit more charged and uh, tumultuous in a way more than now. But so far you can say the proceedings have gone very smoothly. Uh, the impressive uh, setup here the IEC provided for both themselves, the media, and you know, the security arrangements are all, you know, are all perfect. Uh, I mean, you you will be proud that uh, you know the process here so far is going by the book and i'm and i'm very impressed about that right um that was uh, mr charms the uh, of course um he's the one who is joining here on this um uh, uh, panel and then um, that was uh, of course um alaji mamadi quran as i said earlier um, um he of course i'm um, proud of being and uh, 
uh, educationalist, and uh, which is quite right. We've seen um, some of the achievements that he's done um, uh, when it comes to education, and then um, but he's an accountant, economist. Um, and, uh, he also he also did management and of uh, taxation and so many things um, uh, in this country. So alaji mama di kurang alakaito atelebe ni atelebe ngola tenti. Uh, abe mimi fakang uh, akamtala ko kabringa ala kaitol di aisila uh, ala tunku folo abe mimi fakang wole mindego akaman doko ke yaja me aman doko ke baro e uh, akobari uh, aman doko ke mansa kun mansa kunda folo be akobari atarra gambe banko kan janne andung fanang uh, abaluta no janne uh, andung mol nyanta lala le akamtala ko uh, 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 ala silo la mialon ko abe wole tamandila uh, adabe kolo ko ala tumbolo ko no mialon ko kaitol mialon ko ayadi furanya ngo minti akate kwali faitale min kumu mole mialon ko aya sile pour ka jew ka do ko ni soro bayri mole mialon ko ay fanna jamal karan to wal kamin ko wandi accounting economics aka ay wol be kule kule mialon ko ay karan andum mole mialon ko successfully ay business all soro janne mialon ko operate le successfully ni be mu kule ti mialon ko aya fole andum ay business all kele mialon ko fam wota mo dictate obi jang min kera nun to president wati mialon ko wala benu jang min kera dictate o nyen ti nyen be mu kule ti mialon ko aya fo bari hani sayin al salon ko mati u commerce totale mialon ko ade fanan nyanta ka futanan ne atale be kala candidate laba ngoti mialon ko Uh, wale bina nam prukaje ko don ata fanan uh, isa, uh, isa 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 nominate bari uh, ali alon ko uh, mari sok uh, dabe mul ko le mialon ko inata ko mr chami afu nyame angale ko ngoto uh, interesting di that uh, mari sok le musu folo ti mialon ko lota pourka president ya ñine uh, gambia banko kan jang uh, atale uh, musu folo ti mialon ko lota andung ana atale nun somanda attending uh, joseph juf uh, itol mo fulol uh, itol le la kaytol di le fa pareta mama de quran nata di Nia Jibi tare ko to ko Mr Chami ya fo nyamen musol le ka carte fo e bak e Gambia banko kan jang e andung natara ya bak kenneke asikeno president ngoti jang natara nga tribunde je wolam nyin si fatam fan solti mi alon ko lebe kering anin ko jamal bari kam tale ko anatale andung ay support sotale andu mo jamal ba fokan defa hanatara dan tanun jang kan tale bari ay tare ko le lundi nyim banko kam musunene man lo ka fo Uh, 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 Lafta President Yala. Of course, um, the, the, the 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 current Vice President. Yes, yes, the current Vice President also. Uh, of course. Yeah, he was not. He was, yes, he was not nominated. You are right. She was not nominated. Uh, but um, I tell him, must follow him. Yala, long ago, he was nominated. Now, long ago. Current Vice President Aisha Toure. I have found Lafta the number one nominated. What do you mean? Tariq Olti, me along with Aya Londe. So nga expect le ko candidate do nyim bina bari nga lonne ko um ay si la uh, schedule mi alon ko lolon di uh, time table do of course ila ila time table nyim talam fula le kol nyanta banna ando janni wombe mati gome sirla le nyim fana mu multi mi alon ko independent uh, candidate o lem uh, still now di len wax ne rek yena nge setan kerfatu te ñu ngi live si independent electoral commission bo xamne uh, uh, of course am mu fi kanifin uh, fi nak dafa melni uh, Um, kidi nyidi of course some uh, independent candidates si tay uh, ñoo ñew pour ñu joxe sen kayti nomination papers si ci IC gis nañ of course some um, two of them wala three of them pare nañ be uh, already uh, kidi joseph koli mom ñewon na mari sok ko xamne mom mo ne ya yeah, mari sok juuf of course uh, joseph yes juuf joseph juuf is the first candidate mom mo ne ka uh, first candidate bo xamne of course some um, uh, ñewon na Mari Sok Monica the first female candidate uh, bo hamne nominated nagn ko lolu of course an history la uh, in the country just then mama di kura ñewna mom tamen waxna um, part of the things yo hamne waxna ko mune mom dina nek nit ko hamne na dolel uh, jangami si of course am bir rewmi lolu degeral na ko way waxna ka taskati xibaari ne mom nek na nit ko hamne um, su ñewé in power uh, uh, walum jangabi nak nako na nek lo hamne nako dolel joxe na example of course am Singapore fo xamne am nañ independent in 1965 way mu ne so xole fofu nonu jaga lañ dolel education lañ dolel mota ñu am lo xamne am am nañ ko tey bi di coalition nak mu ne mu nu ci wax dara time bi ni lolu yeb neex na lo xamne of course am ki di alhaji mamadi kura wax nako ci bum joxe of course am pepa bi kayit bum ñu jox nak mo nek ne waxna ci lo xamne mu ne mom mustali ak baro mustali gi ak jamme waye mom 
ligay na of course am gambia finité of course am munon nekana gambia fi ci jama li nekana lo xamné wax nako té tamit wax na né mom dafa qualify pour mu nek président té mom mo nek the right person pour ñu jital ko gambia fi dafa melni ay cadeau am la nek di wax rek mom mo wax cadeau yi ni té mom nekana nit ko xamné mu né dafa train qualified na nekana accountant nekana économiste té tamit jangana management tax season li yeb nekana lo xamné amna ci xam xam mu né suñ ko jitalé mom na mu né yobbu rewma ci karam té mu né amna business yo xamné def nako gambia fi ni ñu nekka successful business comme cham num ko waxé ci ganaaw tuti rek because mo mo nekkon am jiti jolof teachers gambia fi ni lol tamet of course am waxna ci am employé na fi more than of course am 100 young gambians yo xamné they are 20 years or below mo xam yo xamné employé na fi guy lol yeb waxna ko fi ni so mune gambian ci mom lañ wara jox am of course am when it comes to the votes mo mo nek right candidate bi fi ni am chama i know we'll just um take um i will just um tell our uh, full of followers before i come back to you Musid bi amko kera fatu ngon don dar de joni ni minen independent electoral commission do hande non woni nomination bo gandan tuma o independent candidate di hande mabbe na wayno mabbe nayo be mabbe nominated hande mabbe tato non na wayno kaiti mabbe di fof faida e joni di joti mato do ic chama do dun woni alaji of course am mamar njai kaiti mabbe di joti mato on e ngidido ar ko dum woni joseph of course am juuf mako idi ar mako okiri kayti mako di haw yeyi do emi don non mari sok ari no mari sok woni hombo woni debbo mo gandantuma mako woni mako idi won debbo mo gandantuma wadama nominate pro daro wona president der leydi gambia do mako ne ari no ardo yimbe mako be you know um onon gandi dum ko tarik modo mo gandantuma wadi gambia do bay sa ndari e tariko gambia e sa ndadi ko yimbe rewbe be burta fundu pour be beddo carte der rey di gambia do so um si be mbadi o bag mo way gagno comme nono lamine cham wiri ni of course am e e e english e kono sa ndari ne ko makko woni debbo mo gandantuma o o darni history mo gandantuma rebe hobe be bawo be gandantuma be ba wani darno di history ji di gandantuma e ko dino am darni comme nono of course am mr cham wiri ni ndew immi don non gardo woni alhaji mamadi kura amad alhaji mamadi kura ko neddo mo gandantuma makko darni jol of titos am der leydi gambia do ko dulaade ngandantuma yimbe hewbe jangi don gambia ne ji kewdi jangi don te yursi ji kewdi of course be jangi don te ndew hala non okki kayti makko di of course am ic but bila o pari o haldi of course am e journalist abe gonbe be do ko wi woni makko of course am kulle jangde der leydi gambia do o wi dum wonat ko hunde ne ngandantuma o wi o daraden daraden kongal makko ngal pour Eh, of course be eh, en eh, keba jangde de ngandantuma ko jangde modje oh, oh, hal, oh, holiri kulle um, of course am um, uh, singapore do do ngandantuma ko 1965 be kebe independent kono sa ndari ko be mbadi ko jangde di hewe dum wadi hande leydi mabbe ndi eh, a wawa de temmindir hay leydi uh, wotere nder leydi gambia do so o oh, wi non kulle ko wita ko yaate ko kulle coalition o oh, yo wata en hal hay dara joni ni kono ardi e yimbe hebe faida garbe be taw e eh, ko makko buri hew yimbe ndantuma ko beno ardi baybe fof ko independent candidate so joni non bo min parata o makko woni last page mo ngandantuma o arata hande ko dum woni matiw gomes mr chams it seems like um we are left with uh, uh matiw gomes is another independent aspirant you know as he said earlier um it's so interesting that we've seen so many people um yes is there right we understand but then um i i i i, I don't know if if Gambians can trust all of these people Mr. Mamadi Kura and all of them I mean if I said um these people I'm referring to all of them from the big guns to everyone we've seen 27 candidates for this upcoming election 26 wow. so. yes um I'm talking about today <laughs> well, the, the one that is coming Matthew Gomez uh, I, I frankly about him not much is known mm -hmm. uh, as compared to uh the past three before him because uh at least when you talk about mary shock uh, uh yes you may have had her voice uh, in the period leading up to the elections um she has been addressing uh issues on politics uh, in the gambia and she had been talking a lot about uh, how she thinks uh, things should be worked out so you should 
uh, be, I mean, if you are a follower of uh, political events, you should be familiar with her name. Yes. Of course, Al Haji Mama, the Quran, like I told you, um, already had a firm reputation as an educationist, and uh, um, he also, like I told you, worked um, at the Jane Commission, where he controversially resigned in principle, as he would say. And so he's fairly known. Um, but that cannot be said of Matthew Gomez because, uh, um, like I said, not much is been known about him. So it will be interesting um, if he comes up here, when he comes up uh, and uh, talk to the press, perhaps that may be the first time for, for the general members of the press to face him. Is that not, is, is, is that not interesting that you, you, you vine for the presidency? It seems like um, um, I've been searching for his biography since... Uh, I came, but it seems like not. I, I I cannot get anything from from him for now. And then is is a is someone that one he wants to lead this country. <laughs> is 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 it not somehow quite disappointing on their side? Well, like I said in in in, in uh, not not long ago. I mean, every Gambian is entitled to aim to become president. Yes. <laughs> But in practical terms, uh, whether or not one really have what it takes even to um, be able to win a ward or a constituency is, 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 is a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I told you various things might have been responsible. Um, one, the political space was not open on the Jammes time. So a lot of people who might be interested in politics found it a no-go area because yeah. of the difficulties that uh, existed um, under the dictatorship of Yaya Jame. Then, of course, um, when that dictatorship was uh, uh, removed, the political space was open. A lot of people took interest. Um, uh, the, the, the criteria, the changes that happened with the electoral laws, for example, the reduction, a massive reduction, amendment, of the provision which says you have to deposit five hundred thousand dollars a year was massively reduced under an amendment to just ten thousand dollars a year. You saw Dr. Kurang almost without effort remove ten thousand dollars right there yeah. and counted it and pass it all. So you see, I mean that really make it uh, very cheap for even people who might not be <laughs> very much serious about it, or people who just want a name or some fame for just one day, uh, you know, because they can afford the deposit. They know they, if they lose it, they haven't lost anything. Lost anything yeah. So the argument has been perhaps if that um, deposit had remained 500,000, of course, the pro-democratic pro pro movements and <laughs> pro-democratic voices had said, no, it's just too much. Uh, you know, the, the, the money is going to restrict uh, people's democratic rights because people will may be interested and may not be able to afford it. So monetary consideration should not I mean, bar people from contesting. But then it has been dramatically and drastically reduced in such a way that um, everybody can now get up and easily get a deposit. So that might contribute, it might have contributed into people, you know, wanting to throw their, you know, ha you know throw their, you know, hearts into the ring, even though they know they definitely don't have, uh, um, you know, any, any, any possibility of even making or even getting that deposit back. Isn't it the case also that some, some of them just want to be, you know, come and ally with other people so that they can be ministers? Yes, there have been arguments that uh, some of them might be looking for jobs, that eventually they may, you know, end up uh, siding with the side they themselves convinced themselves might have a better chance of becoming, um, you know, you know, elected. So, but then even these big parties, are now beginning to be uh, wise about that because <laughs> about that, yes. <laughs> I have heard that um, at least one or two parties said they will have to wait until the nominations are done. Then they know the pre pretenders and the people who are serious, serious. or people <laughs> who they believe can really uh, come with numbers and not just somebody who is a briefcase political leader or a briefcase candidate. Uh, who you know will just come with his name and his briefcase and if you, uh, seen looking that for example, a job. We've seen that example. Uh, I, I don't know whether it's the correct example, you can, I can, but then we've seen that in uh, uh, GDC and uh, UDP when they when they withdrew from the, the coalition talks that involves uh, GMC, uh, CA, GFA, and others. It, it seems like oh, they, they they just wanted 
for them to select just a particular person to lead, but they were not allowing any party to bring a delegate to to, 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 to bring their delegates to um, to have it in a voting process so that they can select a person. It seems like um, you are right. Some of these big guns are uh, definitely understanding uh, some of these people. Yes, um, it will be very difficult uh, now, uh, from where I said, for the bigger parties to. Uh, to, 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 to give way um, to any group in terms of uh, flag bearership. Um, you, know, you know it had always been a problem before 2016 and many people have now learned a lesson from 2016. I know, you know some people even said maybe this, uh, some of these candidates are inspired or perhaps they thought that how President Barrow came to power you know, was so easy and dramatic that they may also become uh, you know, they may also get elected because Barrow spent only three years in this, yeah, on, you, know, on the, uh, you know, in the scene and then come. But then it's completely different. different I mean, uh, what happened in 2016 is Barrow had already met an infrastructure, uh, both within the UDP and the coalition in general. Mm -hmm. So his job was not as easy as, uh, uh, I mean, as difficult as somebody who just trying up or as the situation looks now. And everybody was trying for change. And then, of course, everybody wanted Jamme. Mm -hmm. Uh, James back out of power, so he wasn't. It, it anybody could have won. It could have been Barrow. It could have been somebody. It could have been you yourself, uh, <laughs> who who if put, yeah. uh, you know, ahead of that coalition, you would have won. But people right. wanted Barrow, uh, rather Jamme out. But then, of course, it can easily be said now. A lot of people also want Barrow out this time round. So uh, all these candidates have one single message: they don't want any more of the Barrow government. Uh, that is their simple message, and that is their ambition. Uh, and that is the message they said they are going out. Anyone who comes would say, this thing is not working, this thing is not working, we need change. So Mr. Barrow and his NPP, you will see, will be lonely in these days because um, uh, or 26 other people are going to uh, fight against them from all corners. But then it can be said that uh, the NPP, the UDP, and now the new look of uh, GDC... Uh, you might say, are going to be counted as the biggest uh, movers and seekers uh, of this election. Of course, you don't but discount... That a very interesting alliance. That is the GDC, the, the GDC and APRC, APRC alliance, faction led by yeah. Yaya Tamba, yeah. uh, announced yesterday that they are going to work together. That block, plus the NPP Grand Coalition, as they call it, and the UDP, uh, with whatever coalition they may come or whatever, UDP, whoever UDP uh, cooperate with. But those three blocks um, definitely are going to be the biggest contenders for uh, December 4th elections. Uh, I don't discount independent candidates such as uh, Esa Fall, yes. uh, who has already made waves around the country too. Uh, I think his, his, his candidate or his platform is uh, for, for, a, for a relatively um, unknown person or relatively newcomer, you can argue that he he's, he's really done significantly well in projecting and maintaining himself as a potential viable candidate. Uh, of course, you have to also look at uh, whether or not um, his fame from television, <laughs> as his opponents would say, uh, whether that can be translated into, into, votes. into votes. Because you see, <laughs> Yes. The political the supporters of political parties are so entrenched that each one is so entrenched in you know his or her f preference that it will be difficult you know for uh, for them to change sides. But then of course it's been said that there's always a majority of people who are silent, whose voices you will not hear, yeah. whether for one or against the, the, the other. The, and the, un, the undecided and voters. The undecided, and they are looking at the situation. The situation yeah. They are watching and listening. And if they turn up massively in their like numbers, well, they probably can make they the, may, they, they make the make difference. They make a big, huge surprise. Yeah, okay. that's, that's, that's I, I also in the corner. I can with him uh, in Brikamaba. He, he received a huge support from Brikamaba. Esafal. Yeah, Esafal, yes. He received a huge support. Even and you've seen his uh, rally in the, at, at, at the Bouva Zone. Yeah. He also he received a huge crowd huge there. Yeah. Um, so other parties will be knowing though <laughs> yeah. well you when do you can say he's extremely famous um, uh, from television television sir. Uh, but then of course uh, and, and, and that can that really can be used into uh, some sort of benefit for him uh, but what most people believe that uh, with the atmosphere so 
uh, so entrenched and shaped in, in, in a way that people's, affiliate, people's affiliations are unlikely to uh, be shaken by <laughs> any newcomer, uh, he will have to fight extra hard uh, to convince voters from either of these camps I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah. So, but then if you look at it generally, you would be impressed uh, that uh, for a relative newcomer like him, he's been able to uh, marshal, the, you know, uh, I mean, a level of support that to the eye is, is, is quite impressive. It seems like uh, Matthew uh, Gomez is coming. He's, he's on his way coming, it seems like. Uh, but then we will, uh, our cameras will sort that uh, very soon. Because more like a I see a steel now and then Nimbijang Walem Limin Cham T, Mialonko, Kibatala, Mialonko, Ame Bata, Kibata, National Media, Jamale, Mole Mialonko, Alonta Baki, Ninata, Kibatala, Gambia Banko, and Jang, Be Kachakan about nomination or and in independent candidates, and in political party, Mialonko, Gambia Banko, and Jang, and be I see the Italy Marin Cate for your cola, Gambia Banko, and Jang. Uh, and on Bidum, a Camtele co independent candidate Nani, Mialon Que Fanambe Lorin, the Pruka Deco, uh, Isike President Walti Gambia Banco Kanjang, Itolfana in a Vinaja, the Pruka Deco Kela, Kaito di, Isila Nyaton Kola Minkera, Alaje uh, Momar Jai, Pruka Diala, Pruka Itandala, Co, Laftale Pruka Ke President Walti, Gambia Jang, and requirement so Lumia Lonco in Yantawale de la Pru, Isabi Futandi, Isikeno Nyamen. Uh, of course, I'm President of Gambia Banko Kanjang Bijane. Sign Dung Konga file in Yaman Drong Joseph Juf at a footatale already at a at a la Kaitul di le fatata. Fulanyango minata nung wale marisok ti marisok fana keta multi mia long ko ala kaitol di da tata anung mila bantana ala aliyo jele amami wale of course am alaji mama di kuranti alaji mama di kuran fana keta multi mia long ko ala kaitol di le atata nyim fana mumule ti mia long ko atata saying just of course am Matthew Gomez atelebina atefana mu independent aspirant de kunga fanya men ngala biography ngala side de prunga jibe me mune phone la la quarter bari aman lomba ke la quarter mune atemu mu sifa nyadi le te bari nana ta anin kiba taral be kacha sudo le alba mu le le afana be ming fola jang atemu multi mi alonko atelebe kela mu labango tibi janin sama duol fana bina le janin be nyung close la ma announce la elene mu juma le inyanta kana Puruka jiko sama fana itole fana sela kaitole futandi IC jang dilen wana re de family ni of course am mati ugomes mungu yon bidi nyo mumu ene ka mujentel candidate ko hamne independent candidate ko hamne tei besi tei bi na nyo pur muzo he kaita mi si IC of course am sen indip sen chairman bi kidi alhaji mumu ringe i pur muzo he sen pur muzo he kaita mi fufu nono mum de family ni monta meda mungu yon bi di nyo wai balamu mungu don nyo am komno len ko jise si sun screen direct di ke Terfah tu, di lain wah ni, of course, am Joseph Juf mum nyawa na, Johe nak kait kami mudem, of course, am kiri mari sok ko ham ni independent aspirant la montamet nyawa na, bemu Johe kait kami mudem kiri alhaji mama di kuram montamet nyawa na ibu ya good nonu bemu dem, defam mel ni kuar nyawa legi moneka Matthew Gomez, Matthew nak kom ni ko wah mum hamun si mum lubari, wah montamet independent candidate la ko ham ni mungita hau purmu montamet defam bukan gurbi, mum sunye we su sobe ya la monta me nang waha journalisi pour nyo kham lanak 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 lan la buga defa rewme waye lan mo waral tey pour mo isi kaida mo pour fofo dis nomination nang waha mom si am lolu as far as kirfat is concerned nang nyan wad everything lo kham ne munge a heo fini joni na waye no mbatin to do arambo ye lawol mako ne mo ara of course am screen aji amen di be kollad on camera aji amen di kollad on ko homboy homboy ko homboy 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 o wani ardu de bayon ji ala ji mamadi kura kafungo ardu ngu do mako non mindanda kule kyo de mako mako wani of course am mati u gomes mindari kule mako puru min kala na unko ko hoko ye wani do wala ko nado ko kono mindanda ye kule mako abeti Kami baru tahu ni min parado haso yo timado min kalda emak kami lamdo ko kulle ko 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 di wadang Gambia kono ko ko wadi hau fala won presiden ni ender ready Gambia do min no pada puru ardo mo aranon hau bengari no wap bengari no mat betaro ha benji onon gandi handa ko imbe na yo poti wadu nominate of course am Joseph Juf mak wadang wadu nominate hau hoti no imi don ko marisok debo 
mongannan tuma makone of course mo yidi won president do makone wada no man nominate haw hoti do immi don alhaji mamadi kura makone ko independent candidate ori no wada no man nominate haw hoti joni non ko matiw gomes heddi e hande de huwa kono min kala na donne ko ko hoko e ko hombo e hombo e hombo poti ar jango ha tenengo ha talata o yimbe gandan tuma ko ben poti ar ko la min cham gondumiro makone of course ko journalist mo gandan tuma of course mo andi kulle kewde ko gandan tuma ko kulle windugol wala e ko kulle it seems like um, um, we still expecting the, um, of course our mat will soon he will soon arrive um, mr cham as yeah, we said I will, uh, I will be going in a minute from now to the uh, intersection where the candidates uh, and their entourage are first um, uh, screened and scrutinized yes <laughs> uh, uh, and, and, and of course access uh, access their accessibility uh, is determined by security that's an interesting point <laughs> and then probably we will get to know more about Matthew before he comes up from his people yeah. but um, he is among um, like you said a gallery of uh, very little known independent candidates. Uh, I remember we have Papa Fal to come. Uh, we also have um, one Malik Nyang. I mean, quite interesting names that never heard of names. <laughs> yes. Are uh, also coming up, um, I mean, tomorrow and day after. I mean, 13 political parties and the rest are independent. Independent, yeah. Um, you know, you have the National Unity, uh, Union Party. Uh, yeah, of, no, uh, national no, of, la, of, of, of uh, Abla Abla Jam, Jam. Yes. Now, I think all these people have been given, I mean, nomination schedules. So, I think even if they may end up in, in, in they will have to first. And then, you know, they have up to November the 26th, I guess, uh, for them to withdraw their nominations. Um, but the IEC is lamenting that even that is too late for them to withdraw uh, no not for them to withdraw but for it to have any effect in their work because so far they are make they are making over 1600 ballot boxes for each of these candidates you can look it's at the cost it's, for IEC that is why <laughs> the IEC had always been uh, propagating that we should introduce uh, ballot paper this time around I mean you if you look at the logistics they are facing now mm -hmm. you can understand them but then of course they were uh, that decision has been overruled by the stakeholders because yeah. the majority of the stakeholders, that is political parties and their representatives and, and, and indeed some civic society and other uh, voices have said, well, yes, the logistics is just huge uh, on the IEC, but if you introduce ballot paper now, with the election coming near, um, it may create problems. And, uh, and a lot of people may not be able to know in time how to vote using a ballot paper that was a big problem but uh, if you look at the logistics the IEC is facing now yes i'm sure after these elections it will be i mean their job to get the people to understand would be a lot easier, easier i mean yeah. look at 26 ballot boxes you need to take them to 1600 and something uh polling Pulling, booths yeah. that means each candidate will have 1,600 something ballot boxes. Look at the transports, the, re the, the requirements that you need, transport requirements you need for that. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's huge. It's expensive, yes. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the election, the entire election process 2021 is a record, it's unprecedented. And it's a lesson for every uh, member of the Gambian society uh, to, 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 to reflect as to is there a way we can do it uh, better than the existing way? Mm -hmm. Or is there a way we can amend it in such a way that uh, we can end up having only real um, contenders, not just pretenders or uh, you know, <laughs> people who just want to be famous for one day, just, just come and, 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 and run the race? Probably it will be difficult to identify. Well, the I, I is, know all of them will in, say in all the areas they, yeah. they have what they call in Senegal they will they will they will have um, a criteria. It's already in our system, but mm -hmm. it's, very, it's very it's very cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, you need only 250, oh, the most 250 voter attestations in each region. For me, that's very diff that's not that's not difficult. Yeah. Unless you are of course completely unknown, or even you are known, <laughs> but at least get 250 the whole of the region. For me, that's too cheap. Yes. 
and that's, that's, 5, that's for the whole of the Gambia. For the whole of the Gambia. That, that is that, 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 Yes. Now, that's in other countries, you will come out with at least 50,000. You know, a country like us, they will say, come out with 50,000 from each region. I mean, uh, you know, that would be difficult. Yeah, maybe you cannot compare those countries with the Gambia also. Well, well it is, and, uh, there is a way. It's not, it's not kind of denying or depriving people of their rights to contest. I'm talking but, about the population. But it really will make people to really think twice before committing the time and the resources, you know, on an exercise which you know that you you definitely are not interested in. I don't interest in, in. You know, <laughs> So that's, it will help right. a lot. That's and then, right. of course, we cannot discount the fact that everybody has a right to be elected, you know, sure, sure, or to sure. seek election if you like. <laughs> but to be elected, of course, the citizens will have to decide whether or not you are the person they prefer. Okay, I will be moving to the edge of the crowd. Uh, to see what we can know more about uh, Matthew Gomez. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cham. Um, uh, he is the one, of course, um, assisting me here. Uh, Mr. Cham is, uh, is a He's the chief editor of uh, the Standard newspaper. And then, of course, uh, he's the host of uh, the brunch program um, on Kerfat every Saturday. Um, uh, that is, uh, of course, uh, uh, Lamen, uh, Lamen Charm. So we um, thank him very much. Um, but he will be joining us um, again later, where we'll be analyzing about um, what the um, uh, independent candidate, Matthew Gomez, will be saying. We'll be analyzing that uh, too with Lamen Charm. So he'll be moving there, to, of course, um, to observe things that are happening. Um, uh, there so as i said earlier we've already received uh, joseph juf is an independent aspirant and then uh, we have received um marie sucked another independent candidate of course is the first female independent candidate to be nominated in this country that's a huge history for her and uh, every you as of course i'm every human in this country so we also have alaji mamadikura uh he's of course um a well-known person in this country he was the uh, for, uh, is the founder of uh Joel of teachers and and uh, he bragged of being an uh, of course an educationalist which is quite true and then he's not talking about uh um of course um he's not talking about coalition for now or joining any other political party for now so what i'm talking about lamin cham tatale uh abitale purka kolo korosi bitaka nyameng Bunda to Jana and the cool Tandila Lale Cool Bitaka and Yame and the Gitaleco, uh, Kibaro Dinaleco, of course, um, uh, Matthew Gomez, Besilo Cane, uh, Atefanang Bina Cane, Purka Jacodong, Asala Kaitol Tandi, uh, is a, uh, is a nominate no, uh, Yame, uh, Pru Atefanang, Aninkibata Lalsikacha, Kunga Fale Yame and Drong, uh, Matthew Mumulti Mialanko, a Jam Kujama Mandong Alacodo, a Barini Alakiritala. Kachal be kelale, andong balon na le atafana mu mosifa nyadi leti, andong fana balon na le muna ati na alasa kake gambia fana la press dangodi, andong abe finte le kadiamo. Ninchambe min kachaka no angale kangoto. What am about mu jamal miyalong kole finte da? Abe min fakang it's like um IC kole calls fani andi nyameng puru molsi molbe lola nyameng calls fani andi nyameng abe wale fakang kola na mu jamal finte da. Purkaje kalo despite Jamali alone ne ko mete ganyela but ila right lam fana mol manya ne njena la wala ko ila right lam purkaje ko mo mo lata kake press dangodi I C la njen criteria mi alone ko ngole kumasi ala lom nyat commento ma bang ne atre isi njen soro no tungu ngole mi alone kela landi ne atre isi soro no dron isi keno of course am isi isi keno isi lono le puri se press daya njini Gambia banko kanjang ila tungu follow muminti Olem yindi ko inyanta kela Gambia dingo tile ni manke Gambia dingo ti ite loano la pruka presda ya ni ni Gambia banko kanjang olem ila tungu follow timi alonko IC ya land ila tungu follow njango minti olem yindi ko inyanta at least sanji tansa ba inyanta usodla le ni sanji tansa ba usoro katawa isanto la isi keno presda isi loano le presda ya ni ni Gambia banko kanjang ni muku follow njango timi alonko IC iba ni ni kakang Ku sabanya ngo minti wale minti ko ela karango anyanda fura akamta leko mati fura tale alia jenya mendrong kamera tu abe dunkang sainteng police olia dandane ando adunda kono tole alia be of course atel latenting alia be mati wale latenting na atra fura tadrong ninga alia konegla le purukaje ko 
eh ata fanan yeke moti mi alon ko mba mbala diamona dani ic tema mune be duna ini ani tema bari tunku lulu nyango wole mnindi ko wala tunku nani nyango deko adli sanyu lulu e nyanta wole kela gambia banko wakan jang janin dizem bakaro atli nano 2021 unyu umila tunku ndolti puruka aja ko isi nomine tunku lulu nyango mnindi wole mnindi ko e nyanta mo Uh, inyanta voters card keme wala wuli lulu sorolale 5000 voters card inyanta wo sorolale uh, anum fana nyin uh, wuli lulu voters card o miyalon ko inyanta sorola region wo region at least inyanta voters card keme fula bondila region wo region walem tundol miyalon ko le gambia banko kan jang tundu wo tundu inyanta uh, fula uh, sorolale uh, gambia uh, banko kan jang eh wala mila tunkun lulu njangoti miyalon ko ya sodo eh andu ila tunkun woro njango minti wala mnyindi ko ila aset solo wala baga sol miya lonko e wala soro ita mu mendi mune mila kordal ti jang andung mune mfengol ti miya lonko ya soro gambeja nyanta adike ala mwole ya long mune mkwol ti miya lonko ya soro gambeja banko kan jang mfana mkwole ti miya lonko adabe la sartwol ane la tunko ila 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 tunko tombo wal kono miya lonko e wala londe bari fanang ila ila woro wala njango wala m Uh, of course some um, tax clearance the wala min di ko namo natara namo be mola anung ye banko fango uh, ye, ye banko fango dondo korola be kole ala le pour kaji ko ke banko president ngoti wala ka loka pesa ya nyini ila namo nyin a nyante clearala le a ko le be nyanta senala le ya be jo ya kayto soro e ka min kumandi tax clearance certificate e nyanta wo soro la le pour kaji ko do si lono pour ka ke pour ka president ya nyini banko kan jang Eh, anu fana ni fana da jang bi e nyanta wulitang tala le pour ka deposit pour ici nominé no nyame wulitang e nyanta wo deposit la le andong inila symbol nyanta nana le eh 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 anila kola eh karafoila photography wala mila nataloti ini wol fana nyanta nala le eh, la tumbutan nyango mu minti wala minti ko e ko fana mo mo miya lon ko e qualify tele pour ka carte fayo ke gambia banko kan jang e qualify tele fana pour ka ke independent candidate odi pour ka loy fanga watara e mon parti o londi to abol kam min kumandi independent candidate lale e yo ya ya nyanto so tele pour ka je ko si lo ye president ya nyini ye wo fo bari ila tanim fula nyango minti wala minti ko e nyanta sonna iec ila luwalu ye min landi ila sartol mi allon ke landi ko e mo man nyan natara laino le mi allon ko ya dro e man nyan tambilala e nyanta tarra sansango nyun kon luwalu mi allon ko le landi to abol kam min kumandi ila IEC code of conduct inyanta ila anila ethics inyanta tamala ya minfo inyanta tamala wala kan inyanta sonna nyum fanan nale janni be lono la pour ka djiko janni be nominer da pour ka ke ci lo ka president ya nyini gambia banko kan jang e bari ila tanim fula njango tumbo mu minti wala minti ko e ila manifesto e mu ne soro gambia dingole e anim fanan e e be yele no la nyaari le gambia dingole e bari fanan e ko lu tamandir nyaalu gambia banko kan jam molu tema e nyanta wole sorla to abol kam min kumandi ila ila manifesto on tolerance and multi uh, cultural culturalism e nyanta nyil sorla le nyil be mu kulleti miyalon ko e nyanta sorla wala nyinam tambu tanin fulalti miyalon ko ye wala londi bi wala yo ic ye wala londi pour ka djiko candidate ro candidate nara e nyanta sonna nyilla le pour ka djiko ye londi bari nyanta nyin kayto dol fana yi tandi lale mil boko tax clearance certificate rolu e nyanta wolu soto lale anim fana ila asset declaration rolu e nyanta wol kayto soto lale anim kayto dolu miya lon ko ic be nyinin kala ila banko di yala e foy fana ye sanji tan sama soto le e anum fana e be nyinin kala le ila voters card wuli lulol miya lon ko e be nyinin kala nyinna le region wo region e itol e be nyin kayto be nyinin kala le miya lon ko e of course am e badi lela le anum fana janin e be nominate la jang woto mba fula mo be ko hani say albe kerfatu le jibe ka be damen golam icd du la miya lon ko Uh, independent candidate labango miyalon ko bi ibatele nominate la eh atele moti miyalon ko eh ba nkana nkana witness um ala kaiti diola attending ic tema eh atele of course am matiu gomesti natural malo eh it seems like um ibe diamo kanne
Thank you. Walem <laughs> Uh, Ali Ajele, atele mwa labangoti mialongo B. Of course, uh, abe eba eba nominate la jang IC IC jang. Uh, na thara kiba thala parida drong be ba link la le uh, anumfa na. Of course, uh, Al viewers, you watching us live from the. Huh? Viewers, you're watching us live from the Independent Electoral Commission, IEC, where the nomination for the presidential aspirants has kicked off today. The last um, aspirant to file his papers, uh, which is, which is uh, Matthew Gomez, he just filed his papers uh, to the IEC uh, uh, desk, uh, but we just come to realize that he... All right. Um, thank you very much. We apologize for that. Um, uh, we are going to bring you first uh, the interview, interview with uh, with Matthew. Uh, later we will be of course uh, showing that. So nyaro demanding from the interview all night. Let me along ko Matthew Bakela and in general is all time. So, Walem Tonyati, Mati Konga Falin Yamendrong, Amanke Fen Jamati Mialonko, Moyalong Alakoto, Bari Akam Teleko, Malam Fala Kaito Dile, Bari Abedu Sirin Jele, Nagela Fendida Tata, Dolci Mim Fono, Walem Yindiko, Nathan Aninkiba Taral Kacha Telenung. Yes, um, sa phone le ko ay muneta ay si bulu anong fana alafta munela wala alafta juma mo juma le matefangodi mbo mbo woko mbo nining karol kela le nung purka ay ko gambia dingol fana yalom but it seems like um mo woso dono of course um mo woso dono abulu jang minkera of course mo woso dono abulu jang so wala mko ti miyalom ko abe 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 kering jang ko aliaje Ali aja nyamendrong, hanisaeng be 
uh, uh, IEC le. Uh, we are still um, uh, at IEC, and then uh, uh, we are about to now wrap up because uh, it seems like um, the last independent candidate, that is uh, uh, Matthew Gomez, he, uh, he's, he's not ready to speak to the journalists that are on the ground here. He is someone that is not. Um, um, well known in the of course um, political arena because we've tried to uh, access his uh, biography but unfortunately um, uh, he couldn't we couldn't get that um, that is it so I don't know I think I will get from our reporter landing what actually happened there um, uh, we'll get from our reporter what exactly happened there landing is already with us and then he was there to ask uh, some few questions. So um, we will get from landing uh, what exactly happened uh, at the ground there. So if you are able to get him very shortly, landing Benunje le na kibata la na be diam lale about ayamuneta nanje. Landing it seems like um, uh, Matthew Gomez did not speak to any journalists. Do you know the reason? Yeah, uh, Buba Matthew uh, when we when they are. Uh, Matthew just, you know, step out from the tent. Uh, to, you know, a word with him. Uh, he refused to talk to the media. Interesting. He ran <laughs> until around uh, Nana Johnson, but still he refused to talk to the media. The deputy chairman of the IEC, who is uh, Joseph Colley, Joseph said, you know, he came to tender, you know, his withdrawal letter to the IEC chairman. That's the only thing Joseph so he, informed me. he just me. came and withdrew? Yes, he just came and withdrew. <laughs> and this is something I think, you know, many Gambians, you know, should expect because uh, I'm, I have this belief that most of these you know, candidates, especially the independent candidates, will end up withdrawing. They will not contest due to the financial, you know, constraints. Mohamed is very confident uh, anyway. I, I, I like that. Uh, from, he said he's the right person and then you can be also trusted. Yeah, but that's what that's what that's what Mama said, and he he was speaking with confidence yeah. that you know that you know he is the right person, and then come December fourth, he's going to be declared winner of the uh, 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 the presidential you know election. That's what he said. So uh, let's wait and see. You so know, it, it how will things be a surprise if uh, well, I cannot say a surprise to me. I can say an independent candidate come and you just withdraw like that. We have seen um, so many people, so independent candidates, we have seen, I think we have only 13 political parties, the rest are independent. But confidently Mariso came, you know, Joseph Juf came, you know, and Mamadi Kuran came. They, they, they were all confident, but then it seems like, is he discouraged or what exactly <laughs> is happening? But we, we may not know for now, but are we expecting many of these things? Yes, uh, Buwa, that's a very good question. Uh, I like the fact that Marisok and uh, Mamadi Kurang, you know, when they submitted their documents to the IEC chairman, you know, they speak with the media, you know, in confidence, with high confidence that, you know, they're going to win the election, despite the fact that, you know, we have bigger political parties in this country, you know, that have more crowd than them. The likes of the PDOIS, the likes of the NPP, National, PD, uh, National People's Party, the likes of the United Democratic Party, the UDP, despite, you know, the, 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 the uh, crowd following these parties, uh, Marisok and Alaji Mamadi Kurang, you know, they speak with the media, you know, with high confidence that come December 4th, they will come yeah, yeah, victorious. So let's wait and see. Uh, there is, you know, interesting time ahead. ahead. Before. So, so interestingly that you, he wants to be the president of this country and then you suddenly um, withdrew from nowhere. Now you should explain to Gambians, you know, probably when you were when you were vying for this position or when you saw interest, there are so many people who will say, okay, um, I think I like uh, um, Matthew and I may vote. Now that you withdraw, you should explain to Gabians. I think it's high time, let some of these political or independent, you know, uh, um, candidates, let them come out and tell people what exactly they are into. But you cannot just come. You know, you 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 serve your withdrawal later. You leave without telling Gambians anything.
you, you, you want to be the pers president of this country. Actually, you've been saying that um, before we um, started this panel, that um, I, I did some research about him. I couldn't say anything. Um, but probably he, he's done some things in the Gambia that I may not know, but it's important for Gambians to know some of these candidates. Now suddenly he withdraw and Gambians don't know why. We are just the link between the government or between politicians or between other people and the masses, but now they withdraw and actually people will not know the reason. Exactly, and then Buba, what he did today is not uh, a good example of a leader especially someone who is looking for the highest position in, in, in the country. Office of the President is not a small you know, position. It's the highest position. It's the highest position in the country. <laughs> yes. So you are yes. vying for that. You wanted to contest against you know, the big guns. You came here and withdrew your, uh, your, 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 your candidate, your, your, your you know, intention of running for presidency. If you withdraw that and then you tender your uh, withdrawal letter to the IEC, I think you should speak to the media because we are the voice of the voiceless. We, right now, there are a lot of Gambians watching um, Kerfatu. There are a lot of uh, Gambian, uh, Gambians watching other media outlets. Yeah. They want to know what is going on right, here. Yeah. I think if you withdraw from uh, running for the presidency, you should at least speak to the media, you know, to talk to uh, uh, the general public out there to know exactly why they withdrew from contesting in December for presidential election. I think a good leader um, should be that kind of person who will talk to the media, whether in good time or the bad time, so that, you know, the mass is there, people there who have, uh, you know, uh, belief in you, who have confidence in you, can know exactly, you know, the type of leader they are following. But coming here and tendering, tendering your um, withdrawal later without speaking to the media or without speaking to the Gambia through the media is something that should not be done. Mm -hmm. a good, it's not a sign of a good leader. A good leader should lead by an example. A good leader should set an example where his or her followers will, uh, will, 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 will follow. Right. But, you know, coming here and do that, I think it is a very wrong move. It's so unfortunate. All right, thank you very much. That was landing. Um, earlier, I had, of course, um, uh, Lamin Cham. Thank you. So, Minketa Wale Mnindiko, um, Matthew Gomez, Ika Widrotal, Landing Ka Wale Fotending, Atele Benunje, and Atele Ala Widrotal later. Kaito, I suffer a dam and Kaitan de Molako, Ate Ate Kula Bail, Ate Dabo de Kulkon, Ika Kaito de IC Latat. But I'm also an Inkiba Talal. Ye kacha, walem koti mi alonko nga sodo. Akamdele ko ate da bota kolo konole ada extale bidung mo saba ye walle la kaito alta. Walem Joseph Juf, Joseph Juf, of course am marisok aning alhaji mama di kurang. Ni mo saba wole ye la kaito alta le fuye pareta bari. Of course am Matthew Gomez kera multi mi alonko anatale ala vidual letter ta kadi aisi la kaito ni lako ate kolo kono sign akamdele ko ada bota jele complete di walem koti mi alonko akera bari. Mi mo stain koti. I'm half of me at uh, because I'm also an incubator like a catcher. London Warrek Monekane, the family, uh, Kidi, uh, of course, and Matthew Gomez, Mo Muje, uh, Purunyo, a uh, Montamet, then Don Hart, uh, Nakala Mojo, he Kaitami, um, IC. Why the family, Mom, the Fanyo, Mujo, he withdraw a letter. Mohane Mom, the family, Mom, by an Amomdal, uh, Mo Bugon Bugatu Legi, Johanna withdraw him later. Um, why Nanguda had journalists, Purmu, Mulacheco, Lanmota, Mu withdraw. Why the family, um, T. Nettin Nidlangels and Pepe, Moneka, of course, um, Joseph Juf. Monja Kanyo, Joke for Vukidi Marisok Nyo, Joke for Vumama di Kura, Montame Munyo, of course, some Joe Kaitami for the nomination. Why the family Kidi Andrew Gomez Mom withdraw a withdrawal letter at your IC Mom Dal, the family Mungeo Hagana Mom, Baina, Baina, Te Baina, Lor Monica di, of course, some Helfini. Otto Wolem Kotimalan Kabekere, Miran Biarek, Martin Dido, Aroi Mako Baiti, Puru Darogol, Puruana President, and the Fokumako Parno, Purmako, Ada Kaiti Mako di Puru, what a what you nominate? Because now I go later or I later. I'm going to do my own new cohen. Who want me in fourth team? I'm me. Darta ko hengal puru one gol president dende di Gambia do makowe te Matthew Gomez min kala ni non min ganda kule keo de kule makonon makow Matthew Gomez kono joni non kono no wi makow faida o wi o darota ko 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 dunga ni kono of course am kaito lo adi puru ok of course am IEC joni no ojamani haldu of course am journalist di ngondi di do puru min lamdo ko hoko wadi ha o of course am ha o achi ko dunga ni problemo do kono. Kibaro mo min kibio wani o ima ko achi hengal o darta ko. So that is it. Um, landing. I think we have to wrap up, and I think that's it for the day.
Yeah, Buba, uh, thank you so much for that wonderful and brilliant analysis with Mandinka, uh, Wolof, and Fula. Um, mm. You can follow I'm Ken. I'm Sarah Hule. Probably I will soon <laughs> speak. <laughs> I believe that you know you will, you will, you will. And then you can follow Ken Fatu as we will bring you uh, the live coverage from the election house here in Carnifing. Um, tomorrow there will be another nomination. So. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up to um, Saturday because Saturday will be the day the, the day. IEC will mm -hmm. come and face the media, tell the media who, uh, which candidates are qualified to run for the presidency mm -hmm. in the country. So you can follow us, um, Kerfatu, uh, your most reliable uh, medium in the uh, country. will give you, you all the um, live coverages that you want all right thank you very much thank you very much so um uh, that is it so i will want to give you um some of the candidates that will be coming for uh tomorrow if it's very i have him i have a i have okay. someone who can of course um analyze for me in in in, in manjago yeah. and uh, he's um paul steven Prera. you know of course i'm um, paul he's also a journalist who works with uh, um, uh, star tv and then um, he's a very very good journalist in this country he's been followed by of course some many 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 people i cannot speak manjago so i'll i'll be i'll be saying yes so um I, w what i just wanted to tell people is uh about the candidates that came i know joseph uh Juf is the first candidate that came um uh, marisok followed by marisok and also um followed by alaji mamadi kuram but it seems like uh, matthew gomez withdrew you know suddenly but he he did not speak for so he did not state the reason why he withdrew so i wanted to tell people that matthew withdrew but he did not tell people why so these are the things all is yours thank you um thank you very much uh Gajigo. um it's a pleasure to be on the platform and uh, many thanks to the beautiful viewers of uh, Kerfatu. Thank you. Uh, we gathered here. We all know the reason why we are here today, which is the nomination ahead of the presidential uh, election, mm -hmm. December 4th. Um, like you rightly said, you want to, me to speak to my people in our own dialect, yes. which is my tribe, Manjago. And I'm always a very proud Manjago. Uh, my nickname is Abuku Papa. I will be coming Dom, for Dom Injago. No problem. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, ask Eric. And the Baramak by Tinja Manjaku in Manjaku in the Batang Kirfatu. And Tari Chun let him lesson I see. Karui became lesson and Nalukum Punata Pusin to Bos Gambia. Him lesson a Nungbak Ripli Pualu. Banyanka be Kagutikata Pratna Sinim lesson a Kasinum Pubos Gambia. And Tari Nim lesson a Oler Pui, Ronka Pubi, Nimablar Nibanya I see. And I did Jipana Banyan became lesson a Chukung journalist become Parambiki current to Bos Gambia. Oler him lesson a Nun and Toy Matu Gomez a bandi. Uh, Natape win Larne Banya IEC, Nanchi Nul Nawe Kakato IEC, Alaji Momor Njai, and a Chili, uh, became less than a Chungu journalist, uh, Tipo Bos Gambia, Bangal Pijipananul, and a Jerica Jipani Ngu journalist. Ma on the Fiarne, uh, Punata Pusim Pinarom Pingala, Purpuchi Nasim, Purbanyanka Gutter Likata, Nula Matu, a paper of it, a kicker of it, uh, Purpuchi Ikata, uh, Jakatul, a Kurotiko Emless, and a Wuli IEC, uh, Yeparu. Pur uchim ngal ba puti nasi inti pupos Gambia. Nul nanto imatu a kikaro fete paski binero kabi a tiji kaka ta kalolering kulki na mobi kun te ngemebling IC a jam ngal puna tarpusi a kai kata ichumali mlesi ne Yulim kama mpukuri pur pupi bamba nu nemtia buku Gambia ning jangiri mlesi ne jangiri bul ni ikoi mlesi ne ikata ikapi bamba mak ni Ganata nulba pusi kapuri puyanda pubos Gambia bro. Tu mlesi ne nul nanto imatu a paper of it mampuri paja ba itinja manjaku ba chuma puri paja ba kanguak ne lonja ke kabut abu ku manjaku ni mlesi ne njaka wi nul debi mlesi mungu ne bokana tar pusi ma rikati weja tu mlesi ne wulinja ngoya ndo paski nul nanto imatu a kaka of it a witter of it. What I was just saying, Gajigo in Manjago is like um I believe Matu withdrew. Uh, from the presidential uh, uh, candidates because um, he came only with uh, one uh, document as we can all see journalists on the ground after his discussion with the with, with the with the, with the, with the IEC officials uh, the press wants to engage him and he said he is not going to talk to anybody well 
is my uh, former teacher from St. Francis Kunkujang. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I know him and I decided to follow him and talk to him in my own language and uh, we have a small conversation before the press would engage him. They followed him to force him to talk. Um, eventually, he opened up and said he withdrew. So, I can tell my people, my Jagos, we are looking forward to see, at least we can look up and say, oh, there is Baro here, there is a Manjago man, Matthew uh, <laughs> Gomez, but unfortunately, I, maybe we'll look up yeah, to the next one coming. Uh, Henry. I think Henry is a Manjago, right? Um, but, but he's uh, among the presidential uh, aspirants. Uh, uh, Henry is behind uh, the... Uh, he's behind the... Yeah. the <laughs> 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 he's behind the... the <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Thank you very much, Paul. I definitely appreciate your analysis. Thank you very much for coming. Um, uh, I thank, of course, uh, Lamin Cham also. Thank you very much for coming. And I also had um, Landing. Um, who of course um, broke the news for us. So um, uh, tomorrow I'll be giving you uh, the people that are coming for tomorrow. Uh, and for tomorrow we'll be having an uh, independent um, aspirant also, that is uh, Ibrahima uh, Tabora, of course, um, uh, Mane. You'll be the first person uh, to be here tomorrow from 9.30 to uh, 10 a.m. 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. Ibrahima Tabora Mane uh, will be here tomorrow. And also after that 11 a.m. to 11.30, 30 minutes for each candidate, we'll have uh, Momo Duba. It's another independent candidate. He will also be here. And also um, uh, the third one uh, from uh, 12 to 1 p.m. will be, of course, I'm Banky. Uh, Banky also is an uh, independent candidate, of course. Uh, he's the, uh, of course, um, uh, the only one Banky who want to legalize uh, marijuana. So, of course, we'll have also ANRD, is a political party um, uh, led by Lamin Bojang, is the former, of course, I'm um, general. Uh, and also, um, uh, he used to be uh, part of, uh, of course, um, Gambia uh, Action Party. So we thank you very much. We, I thank Lamin Cham for those uh, great analysis. I thank uh, Landing and, of course, I'm Paul Stephen Prela. Thanks for watching. Kerfat. I am Buba Gajiwa. December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by reputable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we got you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu. And transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. One Gambia, one nation, one people. Our motto is fair play, integrity and transparency. Our electoral system is second to none in terms of its transparency, credibility, fairness, and transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. One Gambia, one nation, one people. December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. 
our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by reputable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we get you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu.
We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services.